A passerby noticed something strange in a local reservoir this morning. A deer had fallen through the ice and was hanging on for dear life. But thanks to a group of volunteer firefighters, that deer is back on dry land tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright has interviews with the passerby and first responders. New at 6. Shannon, Mike, more than a dozen people came out, as you can see, to help with the rescue. The incident serves as a reminder ice can be dangerous to walk on for people and animals. Leaping toward freedom, a deer rescued from icy waters made for the woods, though slipped on its way out. We don't know how long the deer had been out there in the first place. It could have been out there for hours before we even arrived. The call came in around 9 o'clock Wednesday morning. Stacy McLeod was taking her usual morning walk when she noticed the deer hanging in the water at the Barden Reservoir in Foster. If nobody else was coming, I would have gotten in a canoe and gotten it. I would have gone down it. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? Stand here and watch a deer die? Volunteer firefighters in wetsuits ventured into the ice with a boat and pulled the deer out, but the deer didn't cooperate with the rescue. Not happy. He tried to get away, which makes it more difficult because he keeps breaking the ice in the other direction. We have to chase it. That's why we end up in the water. But in the end, the deer made it back home, and all the firefighters are back on dry land. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The deer wouldn't be living if it wasn't for them. And they did a great job, didn't they? Didn't they? The Foster Center volunteer fire chief says it's been a crazy week with animal rescues. Yesterday, he rescued a horse that fell in a barn and got stuck between a wall and a grain bin. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.